Physics, May June 2016, Paper 12. Question 4. The diagram shows a cathode ray oscilloscope being used to measure the rate of rotation of a flywheel. The flywheel has a small magnet M mounted on it. There's a magnet M. Each time the magnet passes the coil, a voltage pulse is generated, which is passed to the CRO. The display of the CRO is 10 centimeter wide. So this is 10 centimeter wide. The flywheel is rotating 3000 revolution per minute. So this wheel can uh, rotate in one minute 3000 revolutions. Which time based setting will display clearly separate pulses on the screen? So uh, we need to know one thing. The screen is 10 centimeter long. Um, in one minute, we're having 3000 revolution. Now, which time base will give a clear view of the pulse? So this is what the question is. So if we have 3000 revolution per minute, that means in 60 seconds, we have 3000 revolution. So in one second, divide 3000 by 60, we get 50 revolution in one second. Now, if I have 50 revolution in one second, that's my frequency. Number of oscillation per second is my frequency. My time period is going to be reciprocal of frequency. So 1 over 50 will get 0 0.02 seconds. This means one pulse will take 0 0.02 seconds. So in a CRO, to find the value of time period, we take the number of division into the time base. If you multiply the division into time base, will give you the time period. Now we need to know the number of division in which one pulse can be clearly visible. So divide time period by the time base. To find the answer, we'll check every options and see which one will give a proper, reliable, acceptable number of divisions for one pulse. That would be the answer. So as you can see here, A, one second per centimeter. That means this is 10 centimeter. One centimeter represents one second. Now our time period, we know that is 0 0.02 seconds divided by one second per centimeter would give me 0 0.02 centimeter, which means 0 0.02 centimeter will give me one pulse. It's not that clear because you will have so many pulses in this 10 centimeter. So that's not the right answer. Let's check the other option. Option B, that's 10 milli millisecond per centimeter. So the time period divided by 10 millisecond, milli is 10 to the power minus three. When we divide, we get two centimeter. That means, one pulse can be visible by two centimeters. So in 10 centimeter, you'll have five pulses. That would be clear. That may be the answer. Let's check option C, 100 microseconds. So divided by 100 into 10 to the power minus six. So that gives 200 centimeters. So to get one pulse, you need to have a screen which is wide enough to give 200 centimeters but we only have 10 centimeters, so we cannot get a complete one pulse. So this is not the answer. Next option D, it's uh, one microsecond per centimeter. So one into 10 to the power minus six. So use this formula, you are getting 20,000 centimeter. So one pulse, you need a screen which is 20,000 centimeter long, but we have just 10 centimeters. So D is not the answer. So the option to this answer is B. 
you like this video, please subscribe and press the bell button to get notified with new videos.